Hi guys, back with another video for you today. Today I'm talking about Olfactive Studio and their three latest X-ray de parfum concentration releases called Violet Shot, Iris Shot, and Rose Shot. Launched in 2019, created by Dominic Ropion, one of my favorite perfumers. He is known for Portrait of a Lady by Frederick Mall. And I've got all the scoop on these three fragrances for you and for a lucky subscriber of this channel from the USA, I have 115 ml of each three of the fragrances that we're doing a giveaway of thanks to Olfactive Studio. So if you're curious to learn about these three fragrances and I'm going to tell you which one of them is my favorite. I'm really, really, really enjoying one of them a lot. Can you guess now? Type it in. Let me know if you know which my favorite is. But if you want to find out about the three fragrances, then please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. That's right, today I'm talking about Olfactive Studio. They are a niche perfume house from France, Paris, France. All inspired by photography, Olfactive Studio. Uh, and then these three fragrances have uh, or are part of the Shot series. Uh, and last year they launched uh, three fragrances created by Bertrand du Chaffoul, focused on Chypre, leather, and vanilla. And this, that's the, I, think, I think that was not last year. I think it was the previous year. I reviewed Chypre Shot late last year. But now they have these three created by Dominic Ropion. All three created by Dominic Ropion for the three I'm talking about today. And the previous three Shot fragrances were created created by Bertrand du Chaffoul, two of my favorite perfumers. Um, that's why I want to do this uh, video today. And I'm really enjoying one of them a lot. A really, really a lot. One of my favorite uh, fragrances of but it wasn't launched this year. Either way, one of them is my favorite, but I'll tell you what they are. And of course, as I said, I have three of these uh, to give away, one of each of the fragrances to one subscriber of this channel from the USA. If you are from outside of the USA, but you have family or relatives here who can, or friends who can accept your giveaway, then you may participate in the giveaway as well. But I, before I get to the fragrances, if this is your first time tuning into my channel and you still haven't subscribed, please do click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. So who knows this house, Olfactive Studio, and what is your favorite uh, fragrance from this house? If you don't know them, they're I think they're pretty much known for Chambre Noir, and I've worn that fragrance quite a bit. Way early on in my journey, they used to sell them at a few stores here in the city. Now I think they're sold at ZGO Perfumery here in San Francisco, but that's when I had discovered uh, like five, six years ago, um, Olfactive Studio's um, Chambre Noir, which means dark room. And again, all the fragrances are inspired by photography terms or techniques or styles. And I'm an avid photographer. I actually went to film school, so uh, first started out as a photography student, then went into filmmaking. So I, I really love photography and perfumes as well. So uh, it's a given that this is a great uh, Co collection of fragrances with a great concept, you know, but Chambre Noir is one of them. They have Still Life, they have Ombre Indigo, uh, they have Flashback, they have uh, Flashback in New York, Still Life in Rio, so many different releases. And of course, uh, they have the uh, three X-ray de Parfum releases that were created by Bertrand du Chaffoul. That Those were Sheeper Shot. If you haven't caught my review of that one, go catch it. It's on the channel. They also have Leather Shot and Vanilla Shot. And these three created by Dominic Ropion are Violet Shot, Iris Shot, and Rose Shot. I'm gonna tell you about these three, little details about each of the fragrances. Then I will tell you which one is my favorite. Uh, and then uh, we're gonna actually start off with uh, Violet Shot. And Violet Shot is this one right here. So the three fragrances I have, two of them are in bottles like this. One of them, the Rose Shot is in here and that's how I've been testing it. And if you end up being the winner, you will receive two unwrapped of the Violet and Irish Shot and the Rose Shot is going to be uh, opened up because I don't have it to test it out to review it for you guys. So I've been testing it out from uh, that particular bottle. So Violet Shot first and who is a fan of Violet and fragrances? So this one for me acts more like a Violet Leaf fragrance rather than the actual 
violet flower, but in comparison to other violet leaf fragrances, this one has similarities, but with this fragrance, I'm also smelling the actual violets as well. It's almost like a combination of violet candy with violet ozonic leaves. So there's a very crisp, crunchy, cucumber-like quality running throughout the fragrance. Plus you can smell candied violets as well. Candied violets are something that I bought and eaten quite a bit of. Uh, I also drink violet tea, so that flavor and taste has kind of uh, left a, you know, a distinct uh, impression on, on me. So I like the way it smells, but I kind of prefer violet leaves and fragrances more than the actual violet flower. But here, I feel like I get best, best of both worlds. It's more violet leafy, so it's more like a ozonic watery experience here, but you do smell the violet uh, flower as well. It's a very, very unique uh, smell and uh, I quite enjoy it, you know. I, I, I was very, very curious about what Dominic Ropion has done to Olfactive Studios fragrances and I think he's done a pretty darn good job. And two of the fragrances I, I, out of here I really enjoy, one I really love. One of them was uh, not working as great on me and I'll tell you which ones they are as I said. But this one features mandarin, pink pepper, cut grass accord at the top, Egyptian violet leaf, absolute, and saffraline in the heart, Indonesian patchouli, Spanish labdanum, Madagascar vanilla in the base. So as you can see there is an ambery base uh, with patchouli of course and love this note and of course the vanillic uh, resinous and balsamic touches of the labdanum in the base but it does start off green. It's a very very green and crunchy experience, which I like. I like this crunchiness. I like the ozonic uh, touches running throughout the fragrance. I like that watery effect, but I like it that it's also connected and uh, mixed with the violet flower, and it's it's a great smell, you know? It's a great one. So that's Violet Shot. Uh, if you don't know that, check it out, and let me know if you like fla uh, fragrances that feature violets, or the violet leaves, or both together. Um, on the channel, I have a video, separate video, on violet leaves. If you're curious to learn more about fragrances that feature this note, please go catch that. Next I'm going to talk to you about Iris Shot. Of course the two uh, first fragrances I have them in bottles and the third one is in a 15 milliliter. And so Iris Shot focuses on Iris. I guess they have Iris Aldehyde featured in here and along with Iris Concrete. But this one definitely starts off spicy at the top. There's cardamom as a note. There's some pink pepper. Pink pepper seems to come up a lot in these uh, fragrances. Definitely here and also in the rose shot. And definitely it was also present in um, the violet shots. So I feel like pink pepper is running throughout all the three fragrances here. And all three are different fragrances. Uh, even though they have the pink pepper note in the fragrances, they're completely different uh, experiences and smells. This one's definitely powdery and on me it, it does go into a very unique cereally direction and I'll tell you what that's all about. But for notes as I said Guatemalan cardamom, iris aldehyde, Madagascan pink pepper, French cassis bud absolute, heart notes iris concrete, almond accord, French carrot, base notes Haitian vetiver, ambroxan, Virginia cedarwood. This is definitely an iris lover's uh, fragrance but it's not your typical powdery iris, it's a buttery experience and it's also very grainy. Uh, that's where I get the kind of like granular kind of cereally kind of effect. I don't know what's causing that on me but almost like bready doughy kind of experience but smooth and buttery as well all at the same time of being a powdery fragrance. I mean there's the powdery airy fragrances that are you know irisy and then there's also the buttery kinds. This one's the more dense and uh, granular as I said. I'm experiencing like gra grains and cereals and things like that. I, I don't know what's causing that but on me this is how I'm experiencing this fragrance. You can totally smell the iris though. You can totally pick up some of the spices and of course it does dry down to a bit of a vetiver. You know vetiver is a great note and I think it does work great here with this particular fragrance but as I said this is not your typical iris fragrance. It doesn't smell like iris powder. It's not ultra powdery because I get that kind of buttery granular kind of effect as it's drying down on me. So that's iris shot. If you don't know this particular one do check it out. Again it's a different kind of an iris fragrance but I like it. Alright the last fragrance I'm going to talk to you about is rose shot and it comes in the 15 milliliter bottle as I was testing it. And these these fragrances are all sold on Olfacta Studios website. I have a link to the website in the info box. And I should mention, I love uh, 
Dominic Rupion's Portrait of a Lady, and he's known for this really big, spicy, rosy fragrance. This does not smell anything like it. It's absolutely completely different, except for the fact that it uses roses as a note. It's the main uh, star here. But this one's more of a fresher, spicier, woodier, but um, I shouldn't say spicier than Portrait of a Lady. It is spicy, but it's not as spicy as Portrait of a Lady. I think this has much fresher touches running throughout it and it settles to a woodsy uh, dry down. But it starts off fresh with Italian bergamot, some slight resinous touches of alumi here along with uh, some pink pepper. In the heart notes there's Turkish rose with some white flower lactones. Base notes are Atlas cedarwood, mosses and Paraguayan gayak wood. So uh, as you can see there's uh, woodsy touches uh, and of course uh, fresh touches as well because the fragrance starts off fresh and resinous at the top. That spiciness of the pink pepper definitely comes in here and I feel like um, pink pepper works so well with roses like beautiful pepper gives a or the pink pepper gives it some depth you know uh, just the spiciness uh, spiciness to the to the rose and it's a nice segue here uh, from the pink pepper to the Turkish rose and I also feel like pink pepper has a slight rosy uh, quality as well so I think it's a nice uh, you know segue from the pink pepper to the Turkish rose. Here in the heart where we're at the rose is beautiful, beautiful rose. And it's just a beautiful, big, bright, smelly rose, you know? That's what I'm picking up here. Uh, fresher and a, and a slight bit more feminine if you're comparing it to something like um, Portrait of a Lady, but these are gender neutral fragrances. They're unisex. If you like roses, wear roses, you know, that kind of a thing. But there are some light, uh, white floral touches under under there as well in the heart. Not a lot. It's mostly about the rose. And as I was saying, the fragrance settles to um, more of a woodsy, uh, slightly mossy kind of a base. Very spicy on me because out of the bottle, it's not as spicy, but on me, on my chemistry, the spiciness is amped up even further. So that's Rose Shot. Uh, let me know which one sounds great to you, which one uh, sounds great uh, from my explanations of all three fragrances. And I want to tell you my favorite now. Can you guess? I haven't mentioned it yet. My favorite is Violet Shot. Is that Violet? That's the Irish Shot. My favorite is Violet Shot. It is so good, guys. So, so, so good. Violet, along with the violet leaves together, is what I get with this. You know, it smells fantastic. The crunchy, cucumbery crispness of the um, violet leaves, kind of watery ozonic with the flowers of candied violet smells so good. It settles to a beautiful, beautiful ambery, woodsy base, but still picking up the smell of the, the violets in here. I think that's a winner. Really, really great fragrance. My second favorite turns out to be Rose Shot. Really great rose, fresher rose, but spicy at the same time. Nothing like Portrait of a Lady, um, and so um, it works great. I feel like I can wear this uh, any time of the year cold or warm, you know, it's that kind of a fragrance. And then finally, Irish Shot, I don't hate it. Something about it was not working perfectly for me. Now, this might be your uh, ultimate fragrance. Test it out and things like that. As always, test these fragrances out before buying uh, a full bottle, because uh, they are pricey, and, but you know, you know my taste and you know what you like, but I always recommend that you guys test them out before buying full bottles. But you know, this one is not a, a I don't hate the fragrance, just on me. It was kind of cereal, you know? I was saying it was kind of granular and things like that. So uh, it didn't really work with my chemistry. So that is Irish Shot. So giveaway time. One person, one subscriber from the USA will have a chance at winning all three of these uh, 15 milliliter bottles. Uh, all you have to do is let me know which one sounds great to you, why, which fragrance that I spoke about, and if you win, what are you going to do with your three fragrances? And again, I apologize, this one is open, but I was testing out the, the fragrance to see how it is, uh, as I didn't have a full bottle of Rose Shot. And also, I forgot to mention, but these were sent to me, but I requested them to be sent to me so I can do this video. Anyway, please make sure you're subscribed as well. Just next year, I will be making sure that you are 
publicly subscribe to the channel to qualify you for giveaways. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching today's video. Uh, I appreciate you watching the three fragrance review videos today. Stay tuned for a Saffron Bond review video tomorrow. We have another USA giveaway um, on Christmas Day, uh, so stay tuned for that. But if you haven't caught any of the previous videos, go catch them as well so you can participate and qualify in the giveaways. If you have any questions or comments, please list below. Otherwise, please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.